I'm a search and rescue canine handler. And I've been a bow hunter since I was 14. I spend a lot of time researching the animals that I hunt, understanding their activities. And in order to stay out here for a longer period of time, I think that hunting is going to be crucial. The X that you can see indicated the canine. I am 100% confident that I'm going to win. I've always thought that most of our limits that we put on ourselves are self-imposed. And once you get past those, you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. I feel at home in the outdoors. I have the skills and the mindset needed to be successful in this endeavor. Is there anything better than chilling by a fire? <laughs> I'm leaving my wife and my youngest son, but I'm one that believes that they're within me, and so I'm bringing them with me. In the last few months, my wife and I have been overwhelmed with urban life. The money would allow us that freedom to get away from the city and live a better life. When I think of the Arctic, I think of freedom. I think of a place that is so harsh and wild, but the abundance of life here is like nothing else. Nature has a way for us to not fight nature, but work with her. And so I chose to bring all items that will benefit me throughout the entire length of my stay here. These are the 10 items that I brought with me to the Canadian Arctic. I brought this multi-tool because it'll allow me to do a number of different functions to work with my trapping wire. The second item I brought is a good fixed blade knife. It'll be used for processing traps and snares as well as processing game. The third item I brought is a ferro rod. Gotta have fire here. It's gonna be cold, so that was a must-bring item for me. The fourth item I brought is a pot with a lid. This will be useful for boiling water, cooking my food. Most of the water up here is gonna be frozen pretty soon, so having a way to melt that down is going to be important. My fifth item is fishing line and hooks. We have a great abundance of fish in this lake, and so that'll be a, a key food source for, for me as I'm out in the field. Next item, trapping wire. I determined that I could do anything else with trapping wire that I could do with different types of cordage, so it was an important item for me to bring. Then I decided to bring the granddaddy of saws as far as folding saws go. I can do everything with a large saw that I could do with a small saw, but I couldn't do everything with a small saw that I could do with a large saw, so I went for a big one. Next item is a negative 40 sleeping bag. There is that point where your body temperature is dropping and you need to get warm. Sleeping bag, very important. Next item I brought is a bow and arrow. We've got a great abundance of large game in this area, and so it's my intent to capitalize on that with this bow. Last but not least, my 10th item, my ax that I had custom made. I named him Enar. It means the chief that stands alone. I rely on this ax because my life may depend on it. I'm Ray Livingston, and these are the 10 items that I brought so that I might be successful on a low in season six here in the Canadian Arctic.